नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द मेकानिज्म ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ स्मूथ मसल्स स्मूथ मसल यू नो टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेगुलेटरी प्रोटीन्स आर देयर वन इज एक्टिन एंड अदर इज मायोसिन एंड द मायोसिन फॉर्म्स द थिक फिलामेंट एंड द एक्टिन फॉर्म्स द थिन फिलामेंट एंड मायोसिन हैज ए हैवी चेन दिस दिस वन and this is the light chain and <clears throat> the light chain of myosin is phosphorylated and that because of phosphorylation energy is available and because of that this myosin binds with actin and 10 to 15 thin filaments that is actin stress fiber for each thick filament and when the actin and myosin binds then only contraction of the smooth muscle occurs so this is uh, different from that of skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle there is only uh, one thick filament between two thin filaments so this is the thick filament between two thin filaments in case of uh, skeletal muscle and uh, cardiac muscle but the difference in smooth muscle is in smooth muscle 10 to 15 thin filaments for each thick filament so when the actin myosin binding occurs the binding between actin and the myosin light chain occurs then contraction of the smooth muscle occurs so the smooth muscle looks like this and uh, so this is the nucleus and when it it contracts it becomes like this so this is contracted smooth muscle and this is normal smooth muscle so myosin phosphorylation is required when myosin is phosphorylated it gets the energy to bind with actin actin myosin binding results in the contraction of the uh, smooth muscles for contraction one enzyme myosin light chain kinase myosin light chain kinase enzyme is essential so the full form is myosin light chain kinase and this enzyme phosphorylates the myosin light chain so because of this phosphorylation the, here also there will be phosphorylation so because of phosphorylation it gets the energy to bind with actin and there will be the uh, contraction of the smooth muscles and myosin light chain kinase if we see the structure of myosin light chain kinase enzyme it has one actin binding site it has it has myosin binding site and there is atp binding site which is present uh, within the catalytic site of the uh, enzyme and there are uh, two calcium calmodulin binding sites so calcium calcium ion first needs to bind with a uh, cytosolic protein called calmodulin to form a complex calcium calmodulin complex which will activate this enzyme myosin light chain kinase so if you see so initially uh, calcium uh, uh, is required calcium when uh, enters into the cell it binds with a cytosolic uh, protein called calmodulin to form calcium calmodulin complex then that will bind to these two sites in the myosin light chain kinase enzyme because of calcium calmodulin binding myosin light chain kinase becomes active this is the active myosin light chain kinase and this active myosin light chain kinase phosphorylates myosin to myosin phosphate and that because of that phosphorylation it gets the energy to bind with actin actin myosin binding occurs and contraction of vascular smooth muscle occurs if by any means we we can inhibit this binding of calcium calmodulin with the mlck then then there will be relaxation 
this myosin phosphate is also uh, dephosphorylated to myosin by myosin light chain phosphatase mlcp is myosin light chain phosphatase so that will dephosphorylate myosin phosphate again myosin will be uh, uh, formed so that will also result in relaxation so when myosin light chain phosphatase is activated then that results in relaxation relaxation of the smooth muscle so this this is the mechanism of contraction and relaxation of smooth muscles in blood vessels vascular smooth muscle uh, you can see here in the blood vessels uh, this is the lumen where blood flows uh, the inside layer is the um, endothelium and surrounding the endothelium we have the smooth muscle cell and <clears throat> which consists of you know uh, three layers uh, tunica intima innermost then tunica media the middle one tunica externa the uh, uh, out, uh, outside one between tunica externa and tunica media there is external elastic membrane between tunica media and tunica intima there is internal elastic membrane so this smooth muscle contraction occurs by this mechanism where uh, myosin is initially phosphorylated by myosin light chain kinase and then uh, myosin phosphate binds with actin and that results in contraction of the smooth muscle. This is all about smooth muscle contraction and relaxation. Thank you.